my channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. I know that most of my YouTube videos are informative and educational or they're a workout and I'm kind of trying to instruct you guys on how to properly work out or nutrition information. But I wanted to make it a little bit more personal for the next couple weeks. I'm still going to have some educational videos that I'm going to put out there a little bit more frequently. It's what I've really been trying to work on. Um, but this video and a few that are coming up in the next few weeks, I wanted to make a little bit more personal. So some of you guys may have heard um, either on my Instagram or Facebook, but I am working towards a championship in no-gi grappling at the end of September, September 30th, I believe. And essentially, I'm always telling you guys what's the best way to eat, how to listen to your body, different exercises to help you guys break through plateaus and to reach your fitness and wellness goals. But I thought what better way than to show you guys firsthand with the prep that I'm doing for myself for this tournament. So I'm really excited about this because it's really going to pretty much be everything that I tell you guys in my videos and on Instagram and my captions, I'm going to be implementing throughout the next couple weeks. I mean, I do this all the time anyway, but this is a behind the scenes pretty much of what I normally do so you guys can see how I'm implementing it into my lifestyle so that you can see that it's achievable. I wanted to say a few things first because it's really important that you have a total background of my current situation so you really know that I'm not just like this person who's just doing this for a living. So first things first, I am a clinical dietitian. I do work at the hospitals part time. I also co-run a business with my boyfriend. It's a martial art business. And I'm also trying to kickstart and really build my brand as an entrepreneur and my own, my own business. So I'm really, really busy. And on top of all of that, I'm a full-time competitive athlete in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So my training is almost seven days a week, if not seven days a week. I'm always constantly, not necessarily dieting, but I'm always thinking about my nutrition because I always want to be at my best optimal performance, not just for my sports, but also for my mental clarity and in trying to run a business and start a business and go to work. Uh, my work is very math and science based, so it's very important that I'm always 100% as best as possible, being my best self as much as possible and having a good training program, nutrition program, and mental health um, regimen really helps with that. So I'm really hoping that you guys will enjoy this little journey of mine. So I wanted to go in a little bit more, because this is kind of like an intro to the, the next three weeks of things I'll be doing, um, but a little bit more about me, for those who don't know the personal side, I've been a martial artist my entire life. The fitness injury is is inundated with like bodybuilding kind of fitness and CrossFit, but I love that stuff, don't get me wrong. I've done it all, I've done half marathons, I've done Spartan races, I've done bodybuilding as you saw in one of my previous YouTube videos. But my passion truly lies in martial arts. I think it's an absolute amazing way to not just stay in shape, but it completely transforms your mind. You just completely learn how to humble yourself in situations where it's high stress, such as a fight. <laughs> so martial arts is truly near and dear to my heart and I've been doing it ever since I was seven years old. And I really wanna share that side of myself with you guys a little bit more because it really is something that I preach a lot about when I'm talking sports fitness on my um, social media platforms. And I would love to inspire you guys to join a martial art. I obviously am a little biased towards a couple martial arts, but any martial art will still embody that same physical and mental health aspect that can really propel you in your life to want to be healthy and want to be fit and want to have a completely well-rounded lifestyle. Getting back to why I'm starting this little series here is I'm doing a nogi, which is a grappling, pretty much an exercise attire, almost like wrestling, it's like an in-between, where there's submissions and there's positions that dominate one or the other where you get points for. And this is a very big tournament, it's pretty much the world championships in nogi, and I'm really excited for it and I wanted to give you a little bit of my current status now so you understand where we're going to be starting and where I'm going to be ending at the end of this journey. So. Right now, I'm actually at the current weight I need to be to fight. 
which is pretty rare. A lot of fighters tend to walk around a little heavier than their fight weight, but luckily for me, I'm able to maintain my weight and pretty much fight at my weight all the time. There's every now and then I have to lose, you know, three, four pounds, but other than that, I'm pretty much on weight at all times, which is awesome for me because then I'm never actually really restricting or dieting myself and it's just an amazing time all around because I don't want to have to not eat food, okay? It's like my favorite thing in the world, obviously, because I study it for a living and it's why I got into it. So right now I'm currently 125, I'm 5'2", I fight a featherweight division and I've been this for a long time now. Now, what I'm going to be doing the next couple weeks as far as a diet so you have a sense, I'm completely going to be intuitive eating, I'm going to be listening to my body. The only thing that I'm doing is I'm going to be eating whole foods. I want to be cooking as much as possible so I know what I'm putting in my body. I'm going to be keeping it simple. I'm not a, an exotic type of gal when it comes to food. I'm actually pretty bland, which when I'm cooking, other people might not, ne not necessarily not like it, but a lot of people love different flavors and seasonings and cultures, and I'm totally open to it, but it's just not my preference or go-to. So I generally just season up with like herbs and stuff, but nothing like too dramatic. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be sticking to whole foods, obviously plant-based. Um, I want to stick to vegan as much as possible, but if I have to, or if I'm in a dire straight situation, I will incorporate eggs um, because I do have to listen to my body, but it's going to be filled with nuts and seeds, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins and vegan protein sources. That's what my diet's going to be comprised of. I will be supplementing with BPI supplements. This is not a sponsor. This is not a advertisement for BPI, but I will be using that because that will help give me energies in my workout. In regard to my training regimen, I am going to be, let's see, I'll be training weightlifting and I'll also be training multiple times a day um, when it comes to the martial art itself. Probably I'd say five, six days a week in the martial art itself and for training probably five days in training I'm at weightlifting. Um, I also incorporate hit high intensity interval training which you probably see tons of on my social media platforms because I'm a true fan of HIIT training. It has transformed my body from the beginning of my wellness journey and I just think the results you get from incorporating that into your lifestyle is just amazing and just through the roof. Totally recommend those kind of workouts and it definitely improves as an athlete. So that's essentially what my training style is going to be like and my nutrition and then throughout the next few weeks I intend on making videos just on different meals that I'm eating and as well as my training and just different exercises and workouts, but it's just going to be with the idea in mind that you see what my short-term goal is, essentially, is getting gold in this tournament. And it's a very intense tournament. I'm super excited. I haven't done a high, high-level um, world champion type tournament in this style um, in a long time. So I'm really excited to push myself and see what I can do in the next few weeks. And I want to take you guys along on this journey with me. So essentially these next few weeks and the videos that I'm going to create, it's going to be a, a behind the scenes of a martial artist competitive athlete that's a little bit different than the typical fitness industry um, physique and stuff you see on the YouTube. So I really hope that this inspires you guys, like I said, to start a martial art because it really does change your life. And I think I'm really going to start doing more videos of the different aspects of martial arts um, in the future because it really transformed my life and I think it could definitely do so much more for everybody else out there um, who doesn't necessarily do it all the time. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys are interested in this content or you look forward to this content and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It subs supports my channel, helps get my content out there. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video, especially in these next three weeks, so you can see what I'm up to for my prep for Nogi Pan Am Tournament. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you next time.